Thank you to everyone we've met here at San Juan Bay Marina. We originally planned on staying for three weeks, but it ended up being three months. Thank you for all the dinners, the lending of tools, and the sunsets at the end of the dock. We will always remember our quarantine family. Good luck on all your travels until we meet again. Could I ask somebody to remove that line there for me, please? No, we're not going to let you go. So we're off leaving San Juan Bay. Anxiety is high, but I think it's more happiness and we're finally moving. But it uh, feels good to be out on the ocean again. Well, we will be. It's just there. There is the Atlantic. We're leaving. We're <laughs> it's going to be so shaky because my anxiety and my nerves are a bit high. So I'm sorry <laughs> if the camera is a bit shaky. Oh, we haven't been out at sea for uh, a very a long, long time, time. <laughs> since we arrived in um, Cayman. Yeah, this is exciting. shut down the engine, it's come to investigate, let it cool down and uh, we're very very low on oil on this engine. There's no drips, there's nothing in the bilge so it must be burning the oil, the oil must be going out through the exhaust. There's no smoke? There's no smoke, I don't see any smoke but we're really low on oil. Okay. Yeah. So let's top her up, let her cool down and then we'll run her out again. The squeaking was also coming from one of the alternator belts so we're going to try and get that off and replace it with one of our new ones. This is the morning of day two. 
So last night went okay. Neither of us slept very much, mainly because the poor engine started acting up again. The new alternator belt lasted about six hours before squeaking at 3 a.m. So we ran on one engine until first light when Davy fixed it again. Hi! Hey! hey. <laughs> So evening number two. Yeah. We didn't film sunset last night because it was kind of disappointing. It was there was a lot of clouds around and it looked like it was gonna start to rain. Um, yeah. So, so. There, there wasn't much to film about that. And also we were kind of busy. Uh, <laughs> what with the engine room pullovers with. Uh, in and out, in and yeah. out. Forgot this tool. Let's yeah. Get this forgot tool. this. In and too out the engine oil. room. Too much. Not enough oil. Then too much oil. <laughs> suck the oil out. Then the belt goes. Then another belt goes. And oh. yeah, it's been fun. It's been so, very fun. But, but today we came up to the front. Yep, so which is we're just up here. Fun. We've actually brought ourselves out to the trampoline area for a nice relaxing sunset. <laughs> but just wanted to give you an update that we're, we're all good. Yeah. Yeah. We're surviving. We're surviving. We're getting used to the sleep schedule. Um, yeah, we just don't sleep. Much sleep. <laughs> we just don't sleep. But we haven't been cruising for a while. We've basically been on the dock for three months. And then before that, we were in Cayman for a year. So yeah, we haven't been living on anchor or it's cruising. It's a huge difference, hey. So getting back into the swing of it and feeling those motions of the boat. It, it takes the first couple of days to get over the anxiety of it, well, the motion the of the day. boat. And, yeah, but we're getting there. We're getting yeah, we're there. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. To be honest, it's kind of good that we are going just to the DR and not all the way to Cayman. It gives us time to get used to this again. And, and to pick up some new engine belts because I've run out. And I've managed to MacGyver the last couple on, and if yeah, they've got they've got to hold through the night. So Thomas, you know how you said that we should have got these belts sooner. Yeah, you, you were, were right. right. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. Yeah, but the ones we had on board looked fine. Well, nah. we didn't have very many. Oh, but I had four. Well, you had four. Yeah, yeah, I had four. We managed to get one. Yeah, and that what <laughs> that one doesn't fit. So anyway, so thank you guys. Just wanted to give you a little update of the evening, and. Uh, yeah. And if you heard a ping in the background there, because we're close to the mountains. I'm not sure if you're going to see this. We somehow managed to get cell service. I don't know how and I don't know why, but it's kind of nice to give the family a little bit of an update. Yeah, we don't um, we don't actually have a SIM card for the DR, but the one from Puerto Rico has suddenly started <laughs> working when we're so, close to this peninsula here. So we'll see. If it keeps going, maybe there'll be a Facebook post or maybe we'll just let you wait until we get to Blue yeah, Front. We'll see. <laughs> All right, guys. Cheers. Good night. We're going to call it a night. Hey, morning all. Uh, been a long night. So, yeah, sun has just risen. We are off the coast of the Dominican Republic. Not sure how well you can see it there. About five, six miles off the coast. So I'll give you a little bit of an update. So last night we didn't film much, but we had a couple of issues. Uh, of course, again, we had a motor problem. So, and of course, and it has to be dark. It runs all, all good all day when it's daylight. And as soon as it gets dark, we start to have issues. It was a starboard side engine, just suddenly lost power. I say suddenly, it dipped off a little bit first, which made me kind of think it was a fuel filter. Um, got down there, found a couple of loose belts as well. So I changed out a couple of belts and then went changed the fuel filter and she still wouldn't start there was no fuel coming down so managed to fix that by having i just got a little suction pump and i managed to uh to to blow back through the pipe to the to the fuel tank and then suck on it to try and get the the, the gravity flow again and uh, yeah that managed to get it and now she's gone through the night without any issues eric is having a sleep um, did really really well um, I haven't had hardly any sleep on this passage but uh, she managed to to give me uh, a good solid four hours last night I didn't sleep that well but uh, I definitely got a, a bit of sleep in there so Eric is enjoying herself now we can go and have a little look see if we can find her you can see here the carnage from last night tools everywhere dirty oily footprint solid four hours in the night last night she's done a magic job all right guys so we're not far now just about 46 miles left to loop run 44.6 
made it, guys. We made it to Lupron. We did. We made it all the way to Lupron. So that's to each other. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> 300 uh, nautical miles. 300 nautical miles in. What was it? 53 hours? 53, 53 hours. 53 hours. So we made it. We had a fair few issues. We were doing pretty good on the last day until typically, literally just, I think it was about four or five miles before entering the bay into Lupron. So basically making our preparations to make our final turn. And of course we had that fuel issue again where we lost the, um, the starboard engine and I had to jump back to Erica, grab the helm and I jumped back down there and I pumped some air back into the tank to clear the blockage, then pulled the fuel back through. I, mean, I must admit, I'm getting quite quick at it. <laughs> uh, but it's not really what you want to be happening when you're lining yourself up, your green and your red boys, you know, looking for obstacles on the way in. Um, yeah. Also turning, so we haven't got the wind behind us anymore with the waves. We've it's now the got side. them on the side, so we're slapping about, which obviously probably caused as well some of the whatever's in the bottom of the tank yeah. to be sucked up into that pipe. But we've made it. We're here. First we're sunset tired. in the Lupron. Tired. Looking forward. Oh, looking forward to a sleep. <laughs> We've tidied up some of the tools and we've cleaned up a bit of the grease and the gunk yeah. off the deck. So, um, and we've had a shower. Yeah. But yeah, is it good to be in Lupron? It's very good, very good. It's peaceful, it's quiet. Um, it's nice not having the engines on. There's mountains around. It's, it's nicer it's than I thought it was going to be. Here. It's a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. We were always, we always heard that Lupron was the smelly, no breeze bay, and it just it's doesn't not. seem like that it at all. It doesn't seem like that. I mean, we're not in where everyone else is. We are here in the quarantine anchorage, which is just outside of that. Um, seems like the a nice anchorage just there. to me. Yeah. It seems beautiful. We have good holding and yeah. we're happy. So I'm looking forward to a nice rest. So once again, guys, thank you very much to all our patrons. We do really appreciate your support. Uh, thanks for sticking with us and cheers.